explosion has rocked the waterfront. Our Jane Valderrama is already at the scene. Jack, waterfront residents and the press who were setting up their cameras and microphones to cover the gala fundraiser scheduled for mayoral candidate Hughes' campaign were treated to an amazing sight a few moments ago as the yacht registered to the alderman exploded in a shower of brass and mahogany. We were a safe distance away, so no one here was injured, as, as far as we can tell. But we have no word as to who, if anyone, was actually aboard. We don't know how this happened, why this happened, or even who was on the boat, if anyone, as no survivors have been located. I was inside the press tent when it happened, but witnesses outside say that the peaceful, serene evening was suddenly punctured by a vicious explosion that not only reduced the alderman's yacht to a pile of floating debris, but knocked out windows and swamped smaller boats throughout the marina. Jack? Jane, while you were giving that report, we attempted to contact Alderman Hughes' press secretary, and there was no answer. Do we know where the alderman is? No, we do not, Jack. I've asked around, and no one from the press corps noticed any official movement on the boat, as it's early in the evening, and the event was not scheduled to begin for another couple of hours. Do we know if this was an accident or yet another attempt on the life of a public official? Jack, we don't have any definitive answers on that, and with almost no details emerging yet, we still do not know if this was some Something as silly as a galley or a fuel tank explosion. But in the light of recent events, we cannot rule out the possibility that this was more than just an accident. Reporting live from the waterfront, this is Jane Valderrama. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Jane, and stay dry. Stay tuned as we get more details on this unfolding event. We will bring them to you immediately. In the newsroom, I'm Jack Armstrong. show you a good time. Oh, hell no. Man, fuck the rollers. LeVar, you gonna let those bitches disrespect us? Shit, what you think? What the fuck you think you're doing? Just being civic-minded is all. That's so? Yeah, some dumbass cracker went and shit all over this wall. We just cleaning it up. <laughs> Hector says buenas noches.
Wrong time, wrong place, dawg. You okay, player? Julius, let's move. That don't look so bad. You should be fine. That's Troy. You can thank him later. Hey. The row ain't safe no more, son. We got gangs fighting over shit that ain't theirs. And you in the way? They don't care if you represent or not. Julius, this is no time to recruit. We need all the help we can get, son. No, we need to get our asses out of here. In a minute. Look, the row's got a problem. Come to the church when you want to be a part of the solution. Every motherfucker here knows what we need to do. Now those bitches be riding around here thinking they own these streets. I don't care what flags they flying. Rollers, Carnales, Vice Kings. No one's making this nigga scared to walk the road. We about to lock this shit down right now. Yeah. All right, yeah! Yeah! Fuck yeah. yeah! Who the fuck's this guy? Troy and I found him. We're gonna see if he'll ride with us. Julius, if he wants to run with the Saints, he gotta be canonized. Hey, he's right, Julius. Everyone had to do it. You ready for this, player? You earned your colors today. That's some impressive shit. The only other saint who kicked ass like that was Johnny. Shit, took me half the time. Welcome to the Third Street Saints. Let's get down to business. If we're serious about taking back the row, we gotta let those motherfuckers know what time it is. Now you break it down, and it's all about respect. Get enough of it, they're gonna back off, and we're gonna move right on in. We got some friends in town that could use some help. Give them a hand. Course, you can always drop any motherfucker flying the wrong flag. So long as word gets out that the Saints is on the row, I don't give a damn how you do it. You feel me? Your table is this way, sir. My name is Wang Shentai. Welcome to my tea house. Please sit down. It is an honor to meet you. It is rare in this country to find someone with your tenacity. Contained inside are the specifics about a group of men who have wronged my family. Go and speak to them, but they are not to be harmed. He heard me wrong. I wish for them all to be dead. Do we have a deal? I'm glad you could make it. One of my niggas is in trouble and I need you to help. He's got a big court case coming up, and the prosecutor has a whole line of witnesses that could put him away. Well, needless to say, that ain't gonna happen. I got a list of all the witnesses, and I'll pay you for each one you can take out. That's straight with you? No, you piece of shit. I don't care. Did I say I was looking for excuses or my money? You got two fucking days. After that, I'm taking the guitar you bought and the hand that strums it. You understand me? Goodbye. Eh, hey, sorry about that. My brother's a musician. So, you're looking for a loan? <laughs> What's going on, bro? <laughs> Julius called and said you might be stopping by. Look, you looking for a little something, something? Because if so, I can let Peggy over there give you a ride. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Look, brother, I gotta be honest. I'm trying to get a business started here, but right now the only hoe I got is so fugly blind motherfuckers turn her down. Now, if you could bring me back some of them fine bitches who are turning tricks to other pimps, I'd be able to start seeing some real money. But I ain't asking for something for nothing. I mean, you help me out, I'll cut you in on what the bitches make, and I'll spread the word that the saints are the real deal. Listen, motherfucker, if you come by here one more time, no. If you look at this fucking building one more time, I will personally feed you all three inches of your cock. You hear me? Now get the fuck out. I don't know what you want, but whatever it is, I ain't got it. Look around, hun. I think you'll notice a distinct lack of pussy. Some fucking pimps from out of town are trying to put me out of business. They took most of my stable, and now they're even asking me to go back hoeing for them. You believe that shit? Until you can go out there and bring my girls back, I can't help you. What the hell is wrong with you? Wait! Wait. 
sorry, man. You're not one of my kids. I just been on edge ever since they left. I took care of those girls since they started growing titties, and how they pay me back? By running off with some lowlife and a hat and cane. Could you bring them back to daddy? I'd be mighty thankful. Are you crazy, man? The derby's about to start. If you're just standing around out here, you could get really hurt. Woo! Don't mind my brother, he's just being a pussy. Hop in a car, man. There ain't nothing better than smashing cars for money. Wait, 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 wait. Where you think you're going? It's been a while since a client came in here. That's not to say my girls can't make you come. It's just that I ain't got no girls to do it. Sabe lo que digo? It's like this. I had the finest chicas on the block. Then these fucking padrotes come rolling around and all of a sudden I'm left with nothing but stained sheets and some lube. Look, I need my girls and I'm willing to pay whatever it takes to get them back. Get out of here, puta. <laughs> Not you, man. <sighs> Sorry about that. I got a little work for you. Until I opened this club, I was a nobody. My neighbors, my family, they didn't give a fuck about me. But as soon as I had money, psst, that all changed. Suddenly, everyone's my friend, and they all need favors. Now, I ain't got a problem helping people out, so long as they understand the consequences. If they meet their end of the deal, it's no problem. But when they don't, that's when I need people like you, Holmes. Go out there and show those pendejos why they can't fuck with Rico Martinez. Come in. It's a pleasure to meet you, I'm Mary. You may be wondering why a woman my age is running a place like this. Well, I'll spare you the details, but suffice it to say, my ex-husband didn't want me to have the club, so naturally I took it. Now that we're divorced, Nathaniel thinks he can run off with my trollop of a sister. Sadly for my ex, this isn't the case. Nathaniel owes me thousands of dollars in alimony, and I intend to collect. Until he pays me, I want you to go and destroy as many of his holdings as you can. The more you hurt him, the sooner he'll pay. Listen up, people. I got some serious shit to discuss. Yeah, we cleared out the road. You think for a second that's gonna stop him? Unless we wipe all these motherfuckers out, they're gonna keep coming. And they ain't gonna be happy. It ain't gonna be settled until the Canales, the Rollers, and the Vice Kings ain't nothing but a memory. Dex, you got the Canales. Ever since they hooked up with the Colombians, it's like they own this town. And with that drug money rolling in, we can't compete. Be smart how you move against them. The Lopez family been running that gang for 30 years. There's a reason they're still around. Got it. Troy, you dealing with the Vice Kings. Not a chance. Fuck you say? Anyone but them. You scared of going against Benjamin King? Man, fuck that. I'll take King out. Johnny, it's not that simple. Bullets still kill motherfuckers, right? Doesn't get much simpler than that. Keep an eye on your boy. I don't need a fucking babysitter, Julius. Keep an eye on your boy. Who's got the rollers? I do. Lynn? The fuck you wearing blue for? I asked Lynn to hook up with the rollers. We don't know much about these fuckers, so I wanted one of us on the inside. I didn't think the rollers pimped hoes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Any other comments? Yeah, when you punch, don't throw your shoulders so much. Shut up, Johnny. Hey, I'm just saying. Once we're done here, go talk to one of these guys. They'll have something for you to do. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Yo, oh, hey man. Didn't hear you come in. Check this out. The Carnales were the first organized gang in the city. The way Julius tells it, they own the whole damn town until Benjamin King stepped up against them. Tell you what though, I ain't worried about their history so much as I am the fact that A, the Lopez brothers are crazy motherfuckers, and B, Victor, their enforcer, survived a dozen VK drive-bys. Sounds pretty bad, right? Now add in that the Carnales are backed by the largest drug cartel in the world, and I think you'll understand why we're gonna play this safe instead of pulling a Johnny. We cut off their income first, then we go for Hector. Sound good? That was a rhetorical question, but thanks for your support. What if we came from here and here? No, they just see it coming. Cops try that shit all the time and it never works. Shit, you're right. Well, what should we do then? Well, we could... Hey, you might want to hear this. Aight. I got a lead on where the Los Canales cut all their shit. 
The Carnales. What? Rio Grande River. Jesus. What the fuck? It's not the Los Carnales. It's just the Carnales. Los means... Fuck it. Like I was saying, we're not gonna raid the factory quite yet. Why not? Because I'm not a gun-toting psychopath named Johnny Gat. Fair enough, so what's the plan? One of my boys called and said they saw a truck with a heavy LC Escort leaving the factory district. It's probably loaded with drugs, but that's just a bonus. Our target is the truck itself. I need it brought back to the row in one piece. It's no good to us blown to shit. What do you need the truck for? Let's just get the truck first, and then I'll tell you the rest of the plan. I'm just saying it would be nice to know. Shit, Troy. What's with all the questions? Why can't you be like my man over here? Look, Dex. Could you go get that truck? See? Was that so hard? Angelo, I need you to go to the lab tonight. One of our shipments didn't arrive, and I want to make sure no one's skimming off the top. No problem. Angelo, you promised we'd go shopping tonight. Ah, shit. Mira, Hector. Hey, I told Luce I'd take her downtown. Can Victor take care of- Is Victor sitting at the table, Angelo? Yes. So if I wanted Victor to handle it, I could have asked him, right? Luz, we'll go out tomorrow. But Angelo... Coño, Luz, cállate la boca, okay? No me oíste. Gracias. You should be nicer to the lady. Oye, Angelo, métete la verga en su boca. Eso la callará. <laughs> Vete el carajo. Mira, Luz, come on, mama. Don't be so sensitive. I'll be inside. Señorita, a moment. If Angelo is busy, I can take you out tonight. Mr. Orejuela, I couldn't. Nonsense. It would be my pleasure. Unless you have a problem with me entertaining the lady. No, of course not. Good. I'll see you at eight. That's a lot of woman you got there, Angelo. I know. I always thought she was a bitch. <laughs> Hold on. Si. Sí. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué? ¿Pero qué pasó? What is it? Coño, ese cabrón, hijo de puta! That didn't sound encouraging. Everything is fine. Of course it is. If you would excuse me, I'm going to check on the señorita. Ese viejo sucio maricón, yo le mato si le toca luz. Angelo, you are my brother and I love you. But if you let your dick fuck things up with the Colombians, I'm gonna cut it off. Forgive me, Hector. Don't let it happen again. ¿Y qué fue eso? Those pendejos in Saint Row are the ones who took the shipment. With the Colombians arriving, we can't show any weakness. The Colombians are already here. All the more reason to settle this now. Victor, Angelo, gather your men together. It's time to tear Saint Row apart. Thanks, I'll swing by to pick that up. Just the guy I was looking for. Samson's got the truck all patched up. I'm gonna go- We got a problem, Dex. What's going on? The Los Carnales are attacking- It's not the Los Carnales. Jesus, what's wrong with you? Dex, they attacking the row. What happened? Angelo and his boys came out of nowhere. They fucked us up pretty hard, but it finally looked like we had Angelo pinned down. Hola, mi amigo. You gotta be fucking kidding me! Fuck out! Gracias, Victor. De nada. Let's get back to Hector. Sí, pero primero vamos a golpear a Freckle Beaches. <laughs> cool. I'm buying. So they left. Angelo and Victor did, but there was a lot of LC still out there. All right, let's split up. The road's a big place. We gotta make sure we smoke all those motherfuckers. Dex is bringing the truck around. You know why he wanted that thing? Shit, Troy. If you wanted to know, all you had to do was ask. I did. Well, I guess you did. Ain't that a bitch. Now that we have things in the row under control, we can get back to the plan. I had that truck you jacked fixed up good as new. Load it up with a crew and drive right into the Carnalis production plant. When you get inside, hop out and take the place over. It's not exactly the most original plan. 
There's something to be said about the classics. Remember what I said. Take the place over, don't blow it to hell. The more shit you blow up, the more shit we have to replace once we're running it. The Carnales ain't gonna know what hit them. Right yeah! <laughs> Hello, bitches! Manuel, you worry too much. Everything is under control. I've heard some nasty rumors, Hector. Like what? That one of your drug labs was shut down. Que eso? No, eso no problema. One of our careers thought he could cut the shit out of his deliveries. It looked like we were missing a lot of product. It really was just this, this pendejo. Hey, Angelo took care of him. And the drugs? Found. What about this gang from Saints Row? A bunch of mulas. A nuisance. Nothing more. Your father would have killed them all by now. I am not my father. I've noticed. Hey! Don't you walk away from me, puta! Hey, Angelo, ¿qué te pasa? Es tan grande que pueda ser mi padre, mijo. Mira, mujer! You listen to me! Enough! Yo estoy intentando trabajar aquí. O se comportan, o salgan de mi casa ya. You're right. Looks like everything is under control, Hector. We'll talk about this more when the others arrive. This is the McManus. As you see, it's fully collapsible and comes in a stately black attaché. The 18-inch cryogenically treated stainless steel bull barrel gives this rifle a guaranteed accuracy of 0.2 minute of angle at 600 yards with match-grade ammunition. With its hand ream chamber and match grade trigger, the McManus is designed for the marksman who wants to reach out and touch someone at a moment's notice. I'll take it. Lovely. Would you like it gift wrapped? No, that's okay. Great. Let me run this. Tight job on that lab, dog. We found a memo saying that Hector's meeting with the Colombians tonight. With the amount of firepower that's gonna be there, just showing up and rushing them would be suicide. Take McManus here and get to the docks. Find a nice tall building and wait. When Hector makes his move with the Colombians, take your shot. When it all goes down, the first place the Carnalis is gonna look is right at the Colombians. They're gonna think they got fucked bad, all right? So you should have no problem sneaking out in the confusion. Just the same, I'd get the fuck out of there. Who knows what could happen? That was a hell of a tip. No kidding. With the amount of shit we confiscated, we could have put Lopez away for the rest of his life. It don't matter. He got taken care of anyway. What do you mean? Monroe's just happy Lopez is dead. As far as he's concerned, this case is closed. Hell, if he found the guy who did this, he'd probably send him a fruit basket. Hello. Hey, Victor! Mira, I'm in the middle of something. What? What? Victor, listen to me very carefully. I don't give a fuck about the drugs. I don't give a fuck about Orjuela. What about Manuel? Mira, mujer, callate el hocico. Who did this to my brother? What about Hector? Luz, por favor! <sighs> okay, okay, you're right. You deal with the Saints, I'll handle the Colombians. If Manuel is behind this, yo le voy a señal a él porque la familia López somos los más fuertes. So this guy's the mouthpiece for the Colombians, huh? Yep. And he's in town? Yep. Interesting. We've taken out one of the Carnalis' legs. We smoked this guy, and they're crippled for good. Yeah, and so are we. We kill Orejuela, and the Colombians will be all up our ass. Let's figure out what his game is first, and then we'll decide what to do. You know where he's at? Yeah, well, I'd start with the strip clubs. Cool. All right, man. Let's go buy this drug lord a lap dance. Okay, let's see. Nadia cruce los Man, canales. Should be here soon. Julius, I don't see what the big deal is. The deal is you went to talk to the Colombians without me. We didn't even get to meet him, Jules. And don't call me Jules, you haven't earned it. Fine. Julius, you put me in charge of the Los Carnales. Shit, now you got me saying it. Jax, do your job. Don't think you're bigger than you are. When it comes to the Colombians, you call me. Understand? Yeah. All right. Now that that's settled...
What? Angelo, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're running off to get killed. Yo no le tengo miedo a Orejuela! Ay, come on! You don't think Manuel is responsible. Are you protecting him? He you didn't wanna be with him? <laughs> Nunca me hable así otra vez! <laughs> So how did that meeting go with Julius? He just got back from a sit-down with Orejuela, and they came to a, an interesting agreement. If we can get back all the drugs the cops seized, the Colombians are willing to work with us exclusively. We'll have a lock on the whole city. Get the drugs back from the cops? How the fuck are we gonna do that? We're taking out the police station. Are you out of your fucking mind? They'd lock the place down before you'd get anywhere. It's Jules... I mean, Julius's plan. He called it. We have to go with it. No, we don't. If you load a car up with some explosives, you could blow a hole right into the evidence locker and never have to fire a shot. That might lower the body count. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's do it. All right, man. You ain't got a lot of time, so hurry. One more thing. That shit in your car ain't exactly stable. I wouldn't hit anything if I were you. Mr. Little, I'm beginning to think we can do business. I'm glad we can work things out. So, how exactly would you like to move forward? Lo sabia! You'll die for what you did to my brother! I wonder if he means us or Manuel. Wait! I know where he'll go. That's where Angelo lives with his woman. Consider this payment for your act of good faith. When you go over there, I'd appreciate it if you didn't kill the senorita. We'll be in touch. Get in, motherfucker! He ain't got too many places he can go. We'll find him. Now that the Carnales drug ring is hurting, they've started to move to gun running. They set up a weapons plant in an old steel factory. Don't let that business get off the ground. Carnalis have gotten the message that the Saints are here to stay. Tag up their refinery. I want those bitches to see our sign wherever they look. The Carnalis got in another big shipment. There's too much product for us to take. So go to the docks and make sure they can't move any of it. Troy got a tip that the Carnalis called in a heavy hitter from out of town. Make sure he never gets a chance to hook up with Lopez. Hey man, we don't got time. One of Troy's crew saw Angelo driving to the airport. We gotta stop his ass before he can skip town and rebuild. Luz, mamita, where are you? Well, evidently you are talking to me. Chacho, Luz, mira, I apologized, okay? Don't get your ass to the airport. What do you mean, why? Have you seen the house? We gotta get out of town. It doesn't matter. Just pack some things and let's go. For God's sakes, just leave them. 
I don't give a fuck. They're shoes. Good, 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 good. I'll be waiting for you. Bye bye. Get the plane ready. She'll be here soon. Angelo? We're taking off. You and you? Let's go. What about Luz? Fuck her. Johnny's gonna be jealous. Oh my god. What are you doing here? I, I was supposed to leave with Angelo. So what's in here? Guns? Money? Some uncut shit? Shoes? Actually, they're this season's new. Bullshit, that's last year's fall collection. <laughs> that's not true. Just let it go, man. No reason to piss off Manuel. Let's get going. So, what am I supposed to do now? I don't fucking care. I have no place to go. C, answer A. But you can't just leave me here. Bitch, you're trying my patience. Can you at least tell me where Manuel is? I changed my mind. Shoot her. Good job, man. I'll tell Julius we're done here. Take Angelo's ride. I'll drive this back to your crib. You know what? I think Julius was right about you. That's a sweet ride, Lynn. Uh-huh. Who tuned it for you? No one. I did it myself. The spoiler looks like Donnie's work. No way, that underglow screams Ricky Lou. Yeah, I guess it does. What is this, fucking third grade? What do you mean? Forget it, I'll see you tomorrow. Dude, she totally wants you. Assholes. I swear to God, we're not gonna be able to kill these bastards fast enough. Aside from macho bullshit, I haven't heard much. The only interesting news I got is that a shipment of high-performance cars is coming in today. It's not much, I know, so we're gonna make the best of it. Jack the truck carrying the cars before it makes its delivery and take it to Samson. He'll load up the cars with a few surprises, then finish the delivery. Now get out of here before someone sees us. Try not to look so conspicuous. You did good, but I'm not through with you yet. Those cars you stole have been rigged to blow once the engine reaches a high enough temperature. I need you to make sure those cars get nice and hot. Now, there's a race going down in Chinatown tonight, and I think you should give them some tough competition. I know these guys. If you're in the lead for the final stretch, they're gonna hit the NOS to blow past you. When they do, boom. As soon as those cars are wrecked, get the hell out of there. You're no good to us dead. Thanks for the dance. Now hurry up. You got a race to win. Uh, need a light? Thanks. Fucking asshole. I tell you, you and me are always making new friends. Things are moving too slow. We gotta step it up. I hear a guy named Joseph Price calls the shots. I don't know much about him except that he's friends with some mechanic named Donnie. If we get in good with Price's crew, we'll always be one step ahead of those fuckers. Here's the plan. Go and tear up Donnie's shop. Right when you're about to finish off Price's buddy, I'll rush in and save the day. Make it look good, but don't you dare mess up my car. If we're lucky, Donnie will arrange a meet with Price. Thanks for buying my tea. Donnie, get down! What are you waiting for? Get in! We gotta get out of here! Uh, I think you scratched my hood. Look, I... Motherfucker. Who are you? I'm Lynn. And you're welcome. So he's okay? That's great. Yes, how could we possibly score dime bags without him? Oh, come on, Uncle Will. He's not that... What's up, Price? You scared the shit out of me, Donnie. I scared the shit out of me. Donnie, it's always a pleasure when you bring strangers into my house. Oh, fuck. I forgot. This is... I'm Lynn. She totally saved my ass, Mr. Sharp. She's a hell of a driver. I'm the best racer that ever came out of Chinatown. How come I've never heard of you? 
Because I got tits. Is that what you call those? <laughs> Suppose I deserved that. Yeah, you did. My nephew has a unique sense of humor. That was supposed to be funny? Oh, I thought it was until you hit me in the face. Yeah, then it was hilarious. Joseph, you better hurry. You don't want to miss your meeting. Sorry, I gotta take off. Lynn, it was nice meeting you. I'll catch you later, Donnie. So we're finally hitting that convoy, huh? I don't know what you're talking about, Donnie. Well, sure, you... I don't know what you're talking about, Donnie. Oh, right. Just sit tight. Price should be back soon. As stimulating as this conversation is, I'm afraid I need to make some calls. If you'd excuse me. You know what I hate? Underglow. That shit is tacky as hell. Whatever. I think... They all got away. That's what the word is. How did this happen? Our crew from Saints Row fucked up our boys. Who? Same guys who fucked up my shop. I think they're the Fifth Street altar boys. The Third Street Saints. Mm, what she said. Will you stop smoking that shit? I need you to focus. If you need me to focus, I'd pass that shit back. <laughs> Donnie. All right, all right. You got some time before the buyers need those parts, right? The buyers? Oh, there are a bunch of guys overseas that Mr. Sharp... Knows. Donnie, do we have to have another conversation? Sorry. Don't worry about it. Just think. Give me some time. I bet Lynn and I can whip something up. Okay. You game for that, Lynn? Hey, anything I can do to help. I know he's your friend, Joseph. But I will not let that Nimrod ruin my plans. Your plans? Our plans. Look, Donnie may be a little flaky, but he always steps up at the end. I certainly hope so. Lynn and I got this shit down. This should be compelling. All right, kids, check this shit out. So we lost the parts the buyers wanted, and there's no way another shipment like that is going to roll through here again anytime soon. Lynn and I did the math. And there are a couple of key cars that we can strip down to get the parts we need. See what I tell you? This guy's a fucking genius. I'm gonna go get the boys ready. So your plan is to go steal cars. You really know how to think outside the box, Donnie. Don't talk to him like that. I'll take your advice to heart. It's not advice. A threat? Huh. How refreshing. Listen up, you old man. Don't don't worry about. Shut, Shut up, up, Donnie. Donnie. You were saying? I was about to tell you to go fuck yourself. And here I thought we were bonding. Let's go, Donnie. That's probably the smartest thing you've said all day. Donnie, slow down. Don't worry about it. It wasn't your fault. I know you are. It's okay. Just relax, man. Yeah, you do that. Later. Fuck! That was productive. That's the second time the Saints fucked us! Three times, if you count the attack on the garage. Quite a coincidence. What do you mean? Well, let's think. The same four people knew about those jobs. If I didn't sell us out, and you didn't sell us out, who else is there? Donnie? Donnie may not like it when things get messy, but there's no way he'd turn on me. Which brings us to... Lynn. Bravo. This is going to be a bitch to explain to Donnie. Luckily, you're not going to. What do you mean? Please, you're too attached to the boy. I'll handle this. I don't give a shit what you do to Lynn, but you better not hurt Donnie. Of course, Joseph. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. What's up, player? Lynn's been saying you're doing a hell of a job when it comes to the rollers. Keep it up. That Lynn? Hey, meet me at the pool hall. The rollers are getting into something big. Don't let me hold you. You know how the lady hates to be kept waiting. Good girl. Go fuck yourself. Temper, temper, little girl. Look at you. All tied up pretty as a present. I think it's time to unwrap you.
Sounds like the cops are coming, Mr. Sharp. Let's take our guest for a ride, shall we? Hey, I think we stopped moving. You listening? You even alive? Say something! Ow! I'll take that as a yes. Where the fuck's my lighter? What are you doing driving Lynn's ride, Mr. Sharp? I'm glad you could make it, Donnie. There's something I want you to see. Stay calm. We're gonna get out of this. Lynn? Donnie, listen to me! I swear to God! Lynn! Take a deep breath and count to ten, Donnie. Count to ten?! You just shot my girl! Yes, it's tragic. Could you give me a hand here? Why did... Why did you... Lynn was working with the Saints. Now, would you give me a hand? This car is heavy. Donnie, where are you going? Children. Stay. Stay calm. We're gonna get out of this. I... I think I found my lighter. I, did you hear that asshole, Donnie? <laughs> he said I was his girl. Did you catch the news? Looks like they found Lynn's body floating in the river this morning. Sorry, dog. I know you did everything you could. Johnny's gonna take it pretty hard when he finds out. You can bet your ass that he's gonna be calling for blood. Listen up, people! We're done dicking around with the Saints! These streets were ours before those bitches from the row showed up. And when they stepped, what did we do? They fucked up our rates and we just took it. They fucked up our deliveries and we just took it. And now they killed my uncle and who knows what the fuck they did to Donnie! Now I'm only gonna say this once! We're not gonna sit here and fucking take it! Hell no! Fucking shit. Yeah! Light them up, Bro. boys! We're burning Saints Row to the ground! Yeah, yeah. Get out of here, bitches! We're not gonna wait for them to hit us again. We're taking the fight to the rollers. Yeah, well, we might have to rethink that plan. What's going on? Where it is, every roller that Price could find is headed this way. How much time we got? Shit, man, I don't know. My man says they're moving pretty fast. All right. You coming with me. We got some rollers to fuck up. We're coming up on price. Let's take that motherfucker out. <laughs> Nigga, you should buckle your seatbelt. Just the same. One getting away ain't bad. Let's get out of here, player. We'll deal with Price once you get patched up. Lynn found a storage garage where the rollers stashed some of their high-performance cars. What do you say we find out how good their insurance is? Oh, shit. The rollers have been taking a lot of interest in a receiving station in the truck yard. Go and check it out. But be careful. Who knows what they're up to? Some of the rollers have a court date coming up. And Sharp is throwing paper and pussy at the jury to get him off. Go to the apartment building where they're sequestered at. And dismiss some jurors. Price isn't gonna pull that bullshit he did on the highway again. Go to his uncle's mansion and steal the prick's car. I got run over by a motherfucking truck, what'd you think? Oh, quit being a bitch. 
We didn't fuck the rollers hard. They ain't got nothing left. There are a few loose ends, though. Like, who the fuck those buyers are Sharp was talking about? I got a feeling some shit going on we don't know about. I'll catch you later at the church. Take a seat, man. So you're Julius's new boy, huh? You don't look like much. Then again, I don't look like I have an eight-inch cock, so I guess we're both full of surprises. The Vice Kings are named after one guy, Benjamin King. And that shit don't happen unless you're a professional or a badass. And in King's case, he's both. Hold up, I gotta take this. Aisha! What a pleasant fucking surprise. Whoa, 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 slow down. Oh, okay, that's not slower, that's louder. Shit, where's she headed? No, don't worry, I got this. What's up? Some motherfuckers grabbed Aisha's sister right off the street. Shit, man. That's the sixth girl this month. We know who's doing this? Yeah, Vice Kings. No way, man. Kidnapping ain't King style. Maybe that's Latanya's going behind King's back. Don't know, don't fucking care. Now, Aisha said they were driving a yellow sedan. Tail those bitches back to wherever they go and get those girls back! Tell these motherfuckers all the time they're bringing their motherfucking woman. Uh, bitch, get out the motherfucking car now. Uh, I'm not fucking uh, playing. Break yourself, bitch. Break yourself. Yeah. Yeah. God, you haven't changed at all, have you? Well, not all of us have a couple million dollars to make it's changes. It's always the same shit oh, with you. Oh, here we go again. What did you want me to do? Did you expect me not to take my shot? No, I expected you to remember where you came from. Oh, fuck you, Johnny. Fuck me? Fuck you! You're the one who ran off to be famous. The only time you remember who we are is when you want something. My sister was kidnapped. And I brought her back, didn't I? No, he did. Bullshit. I told him to do it. No offense. Look, if you're gonna help me, help me. But don't you dare try to hold it over me. Fine. Fine. Fine! Relax, man. I'd like you to meet Saints Row's claim to fame. This is Aisha. And tonight, we gonna kill her. He's being melodramatic. See, I'm signed with Kingdom Come Records. And it's no secret that the label is owned by the Vice King. But the real deal is that once you're in, you can't get out. They rip you off left and right, and they extort you to stay signed. I've talked to Johnny, and he said that you might be willing to help me. Now check it out. Ish has a recording session in a few minutes. That's when we make her disappear and give the Vice Kings a nice fuck you while we're at it. I want you to take Aisha to a session, but on the way, stop at the chop shop to have your ride loaded up with some C4. Park the car at the studio and get the hell out of there. Ish, make sure someone sees you before you jump out. Johnny, I really appreciate Whatever. it. Whatever. I was gonna blow that place up anyway. All right, man. You ain't got a lot of time, so hurry. One more thing. That shit in your car ain't exactly stable. I wouldn't hit anything if I were you. Aisha, why haven't you called me back? Oh, God. Him again? Running a little late today? Hey, now. You gotta look good to sound good. Uh, want me to let him know you're in? Would you do that for me? She's here, Mr. Williams. I know you're supposed to be dead and all, but you have to look this pissed? Johnny, you said you'd take me out to dinner. And here we are. At Freckle, bitches? Where else would we go? Someplace good? Why couldn't you have taken me to Mykonos? Aisha, it's not like... Hey, what's up? Perfect timing. You boys talk. I'll be right back. Whatever. She don't appreciate fine dining. Now, I've been talking to Aisha's sister. Turns out, Tanya's been fucking people in every sense of the word. Not only is she blowing King's bodyguard, Big Tony, but she's fucking Warren Williams, a numbers guy, whenever Tony ain't looking. Now, between Tony and Warren, the only person she isn't leading around by their cock is King. So I'm thinking, we put the hurt on Tanya, we're fucking up the Vice Kings. And she's got an operation in prong court. That's where we'll start. Roll in there and put the murder on anyone you see, customers included. 
Who wants to die for a blowjob, right? <laughs> when you go for Tanya, be careful. She probably got some muscle in there. How much is this studio incident gonna set us back? Uh, the incident? I'm sorry. I thought some motherfuckers blew up my shit. I didn't realize it ain't no thing. How much? Including the loss of revenue from Aisha's death, I'd say we talking millions. Okay, we got a few contractors that owe us. Convince them to hook us up. That takes care of the building. As for Aisha, throw together some memorial box set. People eat that shit up. That should recoup some of our losses. How's Tanya's side of things? Grip is short, Mr. King. I'm not happy, Anthony. You said she could handle it. It's not her fault, Mr. King. The Saints have been fucking with That's what I'm talking about! Are you gonna let these bitches disrespect us? Everybody calm the fuck down. We ain't gonna start a war every time some motherfuckers act hard. We gotta talk about the Saints. Thank you. Hey, baby. They've taken prawn court. How did this happen? How the fuck you think it happened? Look, we need to get together here and just... What we need is for you to shut the fuck up. You feel me? Yeah. What? Yes, Mr. King. I'll have Monroe put some pressure on the Saints. While they're distracted, it should be easy to take back what's ours. Everything else is business as usual. Understood? Now, this meeting is over. Good thing you're here. I was about to leave without you. Now, I don't think I'm feeling the bat today. This is always the hardest part for me, you know? Balancing stopping power with personal enjoyment. Ooh, yeah, I'm feeling this. It ain't gonna be easy clearing all those VKs out of the station, so I told my crew to meet us there. Let's ride. How about you drop the gun, honey? If I were you, I'd listen to the lady. Well, of course you would, you being her bitch. Watch your fucking mouth. Hey, no reason to be hostile. You packing anything else? Just some rubbers. I was hoping I could get some of William's sloppy seconds. Guess I hit a nerve. Do yourself a favor, stay down and shut the fuck up. You third street motherfuckers think you so smart, well check this out. We ain't impressed. Hell, the only reason you got as far as you did was because King let you. We led you right to where we wanted you, and now the police gonna finish your ass for good, just the way we planned. Well, that explains how your bitch lost prawn court. Are you gonna let him talk about me like that? Don't worry, baby, I got this. Yeah, Tanya, shut the fuck up. I thought I told you to be quiet. I got shitty hearing. Ah! ah. Now you got a shitty leg. Ah! So do you. Oh, no! Baby, we better call King. Trust me, he ain't going nowhere. Damn good work, Tony. I'll stop by after I pay a visit to Hughes. I'll see you soon, boss. So what do we do now? We wait. Oh, hold on, dog. That motherfucker's still out there. The fuck you mean we wait? I mean, you're gonna sit your black ass down and wait cause I fucking said so. Don't worry about the one that got away. The 5-0 will take care of him. Oh, so while you lounging, Trey Street keeps jacking us. That's great. That's, that's fucking brilliant. Slow up, little nigga. Come on, King. This is some bullshit. Let me get a crew together. I could roll into the row and drop all them bitches. I'm telling you. No. But Mr. King... I said no. Don't make me say it a third time. Warren, my man, you got the music scene locked down. I need you to bring in the cheddar, not get shot because you think you got something to prove. I can do this. Maybe, but we ain't gonna find out. We got the cops busting up Third Street for us, and we got Julius Lieutenant tied up in Anthony's condo. Everything's going our way right now, so just chill. Your time gonna come, Warren. It just ain't happening now. Understood? Yeah, we straight. You think it'll work? It has to. Sit down, son. We got a way to rescue Johnny. 
The shit Johnny said about Warren and Tanya really got to Tony. Now the only time she's allowed out of his sight is when she's checking on the rebuilding of the recording studio. Every day that bitch gets driven to the construction site in a limo. Then sneaks off to get a freak on with Warren before she goes back home to Tony. While she's busy sucking cock, you deal with the chauffeur and take his place. When she's done wiping her mouth, she'll have you drive her back. Once you're at Tony's, it's all up to you. Please bring Johnny back. Just don't tell him I was worried. Hello, Miss Winters. Is Warren here? He's in the back. Keep the car running. Knowing Warren, I should be back shortly. Don't you fuck! Hey, not to be pushy or nothing, but how about you get me out of this fucking chair? About fucking time you got here. Ah. Where's Green? That's much better. Now I heard Green say that he's got some heavy shit in the back. I'll have some of our boys roll on over and bring the hardware back to the crib. Dex, don't worry, I have a plan. Johnny, your idea of a plan is taking the biggest hammer you can find and smashing whatever's in your way. Well, that sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, a shitty one, as your whack-ass robo-leg clearly proves. Oh, fuck you. Next time you try that cowboy shit, you might not walk away at all. No, seriously. Fuck you. Look, I worked out a plan that will hurt the kings and put minimum risk on you. How much murdering do I get to do? None. Your plan blows. Hear me out, all right? King's obviously got something going on with the police. I'll figure that shit out. In the meantime, I want you two to go out and cause some havoc. If we can turn the public's eye to the Kings, then the police won't have a choice but to come down on them. Okay, so we go and do some damage. How do the VKs get blamed? Put these on. I'm yellow enough as it is, Dex. Just put the damn shirt on. Fine. Get dressed. We got a little piece to disturb. Don't worry about it. Look, if it was one of mine, I'll take care of it. But I'm telling you, I don't care what colors they was wearing. It was that crew from Saints Row I was telling you about. No, I'm not making any excuse. I will. Tell your wife I said hello. Goodbye, Alderman. Great. Now we got your crack-ass friends tripping. Like I said, fucking with City Hall is a waste of time. Wrong. Working with them is what gives us power. Yo, fuck that. This is what gives us power. Now get the fuck out of my office. Okay, it looks like the cops been getting in on some of King's protection rackets. Now that's why they've been going so easy on the VKs. We gotta go public with this shit. Now if we- Don't worry, Dex. I have something more subtle in mind. Johnny, you can't be serious. Fuck yeah, I am. Where did you get those? Anthony's condo. He had a big mouth. This isn't gonna end well. Don't listen to the old woman. I'll drive to where the cops are picking up protection money. You make them cease and desist with one of Tony's noisemakers. If we make sure the only cops we hit are the ones working for King, people are gonna start asking questions, and the cops are gonna have no choice but to come down on the VKs to save face. Let's do this. I think the Kings are through with the policemen's balls. Now all we got left to do is give Warren a nice final fuck you. And I'd say this has been a hell of a day. Hello? Hey, it's good to hear from... What? Wait, wait, slow down. What are you saying? Look, our arrangement has been beneficial for both parties. Look. Why don't we talk about this tonight over dinner? I'm sure we can work this out, okay? All right. See you tonight. Goodbye. See? This is what I'm talking about. Who said you could come in here? We need to talk. Do we now? You've been putting yourself before the crew. Keep talking, little nigga. If you hadn't wasted our time sticking your nose up them white boys' asses, we could have owned the whole damn game by now. I told you before we ain't getting into that shit. And why the fuck not? That's where the money is. 
Man, if you got down with that shit back in the day, the Carnales would have been ghosts right now. But you didn't, did you? You were too much of a pussy then, and you're too much of a pussy now. Fuck! You forgot who you talking to. My name is Benjamin motherfucking King. I'm the man who took my crew from being a bunch of baby gangsters in Sunnyvale to being one of the most influential and feared forces in the goddamn city. You know how I did that? I said you know how I did how, that? Mr. King? I did it by knowing when it was time to build, when it was time to watch, and when it was time to act. I'm through carrying your punk ass. If I were you, I'd drop them damn flags and get the fuck out of here before I erase your ass. I ain't going nowhere. You ain't hearing me, son. I said... Yo, fuck that. You ain't hearing me. What is this? I built, I watched, and now I'm acting. Where's Gat? Fuck! Listen carefully, player. Benjamin King just called. It seems like one of his boys got a big head and tried to take him out. He's pinned down in the park right now and needs some help. Now what happens to King may not mean shit to you. But him and me, we got history. I owe King from way back in the day. And he ain't gonna eat it if I can help it. You're gonna go out there and save his ass. Understand? I ain't fucking around, player. You bring King back here safe, you feel me? Hey, baby. The fuck you stand around for? Give me a fucking hand! Uh, hey, little nigga, huh? It's okay who little nigga is. His motherfucking ass is mine. Hey, yo, Tanya! What's going on? You're a bright boy. I'm sure you can figure it out. Bitch, you better not miss, cuz if. Thanks for the advice. Looking good, Ben. Been a long time, Jules. Sorry about Anthony. That was business. Let it go. So what's the plan? We kill Tanya, and I get back to business. I don't think so, Benjamin. What? I said no. You alive, we straight. But the Vice Kings? They're through. Then kill me. Quit wasting my goddamn time. Well, you got a choice. You can keep your fucking pride and die right now. Or you can be a man and walk away. <laughs> when did you get the balls, Jules? What's it gonna be? I ain't walking away. Fair enough. Johnny? I ain't walking away until I deal with Tanya. My nigga. Johnny, put the damn gun down. Now you understand, this ain't just about Tanya, right? We finishing the whole crew. Yeah, I know. So let's get to it. Plan? I know where all them fools hang. All we gotta do is roll up there, get their attention, then lead them to the cops. They'll take care of the rest. All right, player. You gonna be Mr. King's wheel man. You ready for this, son? Let's go. Good to have you back, Benjamin. Please, I, 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 I thought you told me to get a sword, but let me tell you something, that ain't gonna happen, all right? Now get the hell out! You're gonna wish you never did that! So my lawyer's get out! Nice! Thanks for saving me the trouble. Tell you what, we could use someone who's got no love for the press. Bunch of big shots like to rent our girls for private parties. There's nothing the media loves more than a sex game. If you can make sure our girls can do their job without the press catching on, we'll pay you some serious cash. A bunch of King's bookies are meeting in a parking garage to discuss rigging games. Don't let any of them walk away from the meeting. 
No one fucks with my hockey game. Huh? A lot of VKs have been seen going in and out of a grocery store. I don't think those motherfuckers are buying 1%, so go over there and figure out what's going on. Some of Warren Williams' crew is gonna be meeting to discuss getting in on the drug trade. Show those bitches why they shouldn't fuck with our business. The Kings are keeping some of our boys locked up at the old police station. I want you to lead the jailbreak. You wanna try the Go in there and send them motherfuckers a message. I've been chatting with King, and it looks like Tanya's takeover didn't sit well with everybody. The Vice Kings are fighting amongst themselves. Now's the time to take them out for good. King said he was gonna come along. I hope he hasn't gone soft. And don't ever worry about me, baby boy, because I'm gonna handle mine. All I'm saying is that since you got here, you've been nothing but talk. I've smoked dozens of fools before. I ain't adding to the count unless I have to. Oh, that's just fucking great. I said don't worry about it. I don't want you bitching out when you see your crew. Ain't my crew, son. That's why I'm here, remember? So how about you put your dick away, pick up your gun, and try to keep your knee away from the bullets? Well, you heard the cocky son of a bitch. Let's roll. Who do you think you are, barging into Stefan's boutique? Go away. You must be Stefan. Are you blind? Of course I'm Stefan. Now go. Oh, I'm hoping you won't come quietly. Where now? The penthouse. I'm gonna skull fuck that bitch. Hope you don't mind hepatitis. What? Some guys just never get enough of me. I've had more than my fill, bitch. It's over, girl. You're not gonna be able to fuck your way out of this one. That's cute, sweetie. That's just precious. Please! Please don't! Oh, Tanya. Uh, do yourself a favor and die with some dignity. Sucks for your car. We better get out of here. The cops will be here soon. You coming, King? All right, let's go. Hey, I know what you told Julius and all, but why don't you stick around and roll with us? I'm sure he wouldn't mind having you around. Don't bet on that. You think you could find a way back to the row on your own? Aisha, you know. The pussy call. You did good in there, son. Here. I don't think I'll be needing these anymore. We did it, player. Third Street owns this town. Now that's not to say shit didn't cost. And I ain't talking about what happened to Johnny's leg or losing limbs. Those two were soldiers. They knew the risk. Hell, Johnny gets off on it. We crushed a lot of families, player. And some of them gonna holler at us. But believe me when I tell you, we did the right thing. With the rollers wiped out, Benjamin gone, and the Colombians in our pocket, there ain't gonna be a need for a gang war ever again. And in the end, that's gonna save a lot more lives than we took. So relax, player. You earned yourself a break. You can press the hell out of me, son. And I told the crew, you gonna be my right hand. Hold up. Some fairy just turned on his flashes. Yeah, player. I think I'm gonna have to call you back. This may take a while. Just say the word.
Did you handle it? Where the fuck is Julius? Have you heard back from Monroe? Nice work. But I don't think I can let Julius go until you do a little more community service. We'll be in touch. Looks like we wait. Why? So we can let this Jagoff jerk us around? Fuck that! And what would you rather do? You know exactly what I'd like to do. Johnny, we're not blowing up City Hall. Hey, I'm just saying, it would solve a lot of problems. What if they're keeping Julius there? Alright, but there's gotta be a better plan than let's be Monroe's bitches. You're right, there is. Marshal Winslow was a major public figure. And you can bet your ass that people would ask questions if the chief of police wasn't at his funeral. I say we hit Monroe during the funeral procession. That's to show whoever he's working with that we're not fucking around. You're saying we should assassinate the chief of police while he's at the funeral of the guy we just smashed? Yeah. <laughs> Don't tease me, Dex. Let's fucking do it. Your guest is here, Mr. Yos. Thanks, Steve. If you don't mind, could you wait outside? I'm Richard Hughes. It is a pleasure to meet the man who handed me the election. No need to be modest, I'm serious. There's no way I could have beaten Marshal Winslow. God rest his soul. But you made the impossible happen, and for that, I can't thank you enough. I mean, had Winslow been the only person killed, attention would have definitely been cast on me. But after that fireworks display you pulled at his funeral, it's become abundantly clear these horrible crimes were perpetrated by the Third Street Saints. While before people criticized my Saints Row urban renewal plan, it is now being lauded. See, until you came along, I was displacing poor people. Now, I'm destroying a hotbed of gang activity. What can I say? The public is fickle. Champagne. As you get older, you quickly learn that there are only two types of people in this world. Race, money, gender, none of this matters. At the end of the day, you're either a winner or a loser. Now, the sad truth about our situation is that in order for me to be a winner, I have to level your neighborhood and salt the earth. Hold on for a moment. Steven, could you come in here? Where was I? Oh yes, salting the earth. Now, I suppose I could try to pay you off. But really, what's the point? You just say no. Or in your case, stand there looking intimidating, and we'd be right back to where we started. So I figured I'd cut the middleman and get right to the point. Yo, can you speed this shit up? I want to go to Freckle Bitches. You're going to die here, son. Make no mistake about that. But if it makes it any easier on you, I'll be sure to thank you in my acceptance speech. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a party to... 